Hi, I'm Mary Ann. We're going to be doing a video today on how to add house numbers to your mailbox outside. It's spring and we're going to decorate our mailbox as well as our house with all flowers. So here's a good project to do today. We're going to start with, this is Oracle Final. It comes in a 12 by 12 sheet. This happens to be a, a leftover piece that I have from doing my own mailbox. We're going to need a piece of transfer tape that will cut to size of whatever the vinyl is that we're cutting. We'll need our strong grip mat to hold the vinyl on while it's cutting in the Cricut. And the tools that I use that are my own household tools are um, this as a scraper, which is typically used to scrape uh, a stoneware when you're cleaning it works really well to smooth the vinyl down and when we're weeding I use a bead reamer that has a nice sharp point with a little tip on it because I'm a beater at heart so this is one of my special tools okay and then from here we're going to go to the design page in the Cricut design space we're at the design space and we're gonna click on the text box on the left hand side and we're going to type in 123 ABC Lane. Okay, I chose a font that's called Flip Flops, but you could choose any of the other fonts that are here. You can just click through and it will automatically change your view of the fonts. And then you can make a decision as to which one you like better. Um, you want to look for something that's going to be easy for you to weed and by weed I mean to remove the excess vinyl away from all those letters. So if we stick with the flip-flops, which is this one, we're going to just take this and move this closer to the top so that we can conserve our vinyl. By that I mean it does not put it in the middle of the page and then you're wasting all of that. So if we stick with 123 ABC Lane, we're going to now click on the lower right hand side and say to attach it. That way when we go to make it, it'll keep all of that together. So we're going to go to the upper right hand side to the make it button. We're going to click continue. Once we click continue, our machine will, our laptop and our machine will start to pair. They'll find each other and then it will bring up how we're going to set our material. So we're going to go up here to browse all materials and it's sometimes quicker to just type in in the search bar, outdoor vinyl. It'll bring us right to it and we'll click on because we have the premium outdoor vinyl. We'll click on that. We'll say we're done on the lower right hand side and now the machine is getting ready to set up to be used. You'll see that it'll show you that you need to load your fine point blade which is always in my machine unless I'm going to do something which is a, a heavier cut and I would swap out the blade and it's showing you that you can press the arrow which is flashing right now on the Cricut. So we're going to have to set up our purple mat with the vinyl and I'll be right back. The vinyl is added onto the purple Cricut mat. We're going to take the trusty scraper, or I am. You'll use whatever you want if you want to use your uh, Cricut tools that you may have at home. And we're going to make sure that it's nice and stuck on there. And you are going to put the shiny side face up. Then we're going to take it over to our machine. We're going to load it in and you're going to load it so that it's underneath these two white tabs. You're going to have your bar, your white plastic off to the side 
so that it doesn't run through the center of your item. We're going to press the arrow button, which will load it in. It will take it into the machine. And once it's ready, you'll see the cricket, the C flashing. If you look to your laptop as well, it also tells you that the that it's set for the premium outdoor vinyl, that your blade is loaded. It's telling you to press go, that the Cricut is ready to go. So here we are back here to our Cricut. We're going to press the C. It's going to go through the setup again. It makes a few little cuts that you get a little nervous about, but that's just part of the setup. And here it goes. It's going to take in the material, it'll start cutting. It does it very quickly. And while that's cutting, you can see over here on your desktop the percentage of how much it's cut already and that how long about you can judge how long it will be taking to cut. So here it is. It's a little difficult to see because of the shininess of the material. But it is fairly quick. And if you can see over here, we're 85% done and then it's still cutting. tells you everything so that you don't have to get nervous. Everybody gets nervous with this, especially when it makes that little cut in the center. But it's just a uh, design setup. So now it's done cutting and that took all of, what, two minutes? So you're gonna now press this button and it's gonna unload it. You'll get to see very carefully, there it is. One, two, three, A, B, C, lane. So now that it is cut out our design, we're going to take it off of the purple mat. Move that to the side. And you're going to take your scraper again and go over it so that you're adhering this onto the backing so that when we weed, it makes it that much easier to take it all off. So here we are, and we've removed all the excess vinyl away from the letter, I think, just so you can see it better. Okay, we have all this left over, which is what I removed from there. Let's see it all. Now I've cut a piece of the transfer tape to size this. We're going to add it on the bottom here. So what we'll do is peel away that from the backing. And we'll take it like this. We'll add it over the lettering. And we'll take our little scraping tool and scrape down. So that all those letters and numbers adhere onto this transfer tape because that's what's going to help us to put it onto the mailbox. So we're going to cut this, which also makes it easier to manipulate. And we're going to cut this down like this. Now you can see the lettering is really not huge. You can adjust that in design space to fit your particular mailbox. We're going to just scrape this one more time all the way around so that it's nice and tight. And then we're going to go to the edge here and peel it away. And sometimes it can be a little tricky. It takes a few minutes and I just cut my nails too, so that doesn't help. So hang on here. Sometimes if you do this too, it gives you a little barrier and there you go. 
So what we're going to want to do is pull it off so that all of the lettering is on the transfer tape. You take your time so that you'll get each piece off onto it. And there it is now attached on here. And what you'll do is you'll bring this over to your mailbox and you'll put it on as straight and even as you can in whatever um, area you'd like. Um, everybody's mailbox is different. Mine has a little panel on the side. And you'll just take that, put it on it, and use your scraper again and scrape it down on it. So pretend this is the mailbox. You're going to do that after you've taken it out to the mailbox. And then you'll do the same principle. You'll slowly peel away so that all the lettering remains on your mailbox. And this is weather resistant. This is, um, it will stay for quite a long time. It's not going to fade or anything. So there you have it. And I hope you enjoy this video and hopefully there'll be more to come from the library. Um, they're working on everybody doing videos. So I hope you enjoyed this and have a great day.